Your application is rejected. You will return to your port of origin. Over there! Next! Full name? Joseph Davidson. If you need the full name, it's Joseph, Ben, Jacob, Ben, Nathan, Ben, Eliza. Joseph Davidson. Age? 25, I think. We need clarity, Mr. Davidson. All right, just put 25. Marital status, dependents. Married. Just the one child for now. There might be another on the way. Empire of origin. Roman Empire, but of course we are not citizens. No, they're never citizens. Even when they say they are, that would make it too easy. Citizens have documents. Where in that vast empire? From Judah, Bethlehem, my family town, or at least it was. Not that there's much left now. Used to be a quiet wee place, a few hundred souls, families like us. Oh God, the children. Stick to the questions, Mr. Davidson. Just tell me the truth. Something I can put down here. Something beyond reasonable doubt. Oh, sorry. Thank you, sir, for seeing us. Thank you so much. Save your gratitude for when we reach a decision. You might not want to waste it. Right. Now, Mr. Davidson, can you give me a good reason why you and your family should be allowed to exploit the resources of our country? Well, where do I start? I haven't got all day, Mr. Davidson. Any useful skills? I am a carpenter. Does that count? Oh, carpenter? Oh. I'll just take note of that for now, Mr. Davidson. Uh, don't get your hopes up, Carpenter. Yes, anything else? No, that's all I got I ever done. I'm sure my wife could do some domestic work. But that isn't the point, is it? Economic migrants are ten a penny. You claim you're a refugee. You think you need special treatment? Yes. We had nowhere safe to go. Not back home, anyway. Documents. How do we know you are who you claim? You might be a terrorist or a troublemaker on the run. Do I look like a terrorist? Does my wife? Does our baby? You might not like my answer, Mr. Davidson. But luckily, I'm asking questions. Documents. We had to run for our lives. The only record would be for tax purposes back in Bethlehem. I am a descendant of King David. And I'm a son of Isis and Osiris. Your Solomon was meant to be wise, but you might as well have had rabbits for kings. Talk about wild oats. Please! Just tell us the facts, Mr. Davidson. That's all that will make any difference. We are always completely fair. Tell us how you came to be married. You can trust me with the truth. Oh God, how did it come to this? Joseph. Yes, Mary. Not so very long to wait now, but waiting is what decent folks do. It was a lovely betrothal last year. Dignified, quiet, proper. You enjoy just being a carpenter's wife full of satisfaction, getting a cup of tea for customers whilst they are waiting, sweeping up the sawdust. Joseph. I am a decent man, not into adventures or gallivating. Joseph. Being descended from King's da King David is a burden to carry, even if you are only a carpenter, upholding the good name, the honor of the family and all that. But we've got no worries on that score. 
there is a lot to be said for working hard and keeping keeping your nose clean. Joseph. And when we married, I take my place with the men of the village, sit down together, drink wine, talk scripture. I could offer to do some work on the Nazareth synagogue whilst you look after the house. And if God is good, our sons. Joseph, God is good. Oh God. Well, thank you for being honest with me, Mr. Davidson. I do pride myself on gaining the confidence of interviewees, especially if there are intimate matters to discuss. I wouldn't lie. I never lie. Of course not. Why ever would a refugee lie? Don't answer that. <laughs> But if there is something here that doesn't add up, why don't you just throw out the wee hussy? Please, this is my wife, or she's now. Your fiancé was pregnant, and though you were longing to be a father, it wasn't you. What did she say when she could get a word in edgeways? What story did she tell you, you decent man? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. How can this be? I'm just a young girl at home. I'm definitely not having a baby. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God if you say yes. A baby for God. That changed everything. And not just for me. And all the fear and all the worries flew far away. And I said yes, Joseph. God is still good, but what am I going to do now? She was a good girl. I was devastated. I fully understand, Mr. Davidson. You wouldn't believe the stories I hear. No, you don't understand. Believe her. Not at first. Yes. I was going to call it off. That was the right thing to do. But make the best of a bad job. How could I not lose face? I was hurt. But vengeance is mine alone, says the Lord. And I didn't want the girl to suffer. She made her bed and she could lie in it. But a village can be cruel. Kick one, they all limp. And there is no such thing as privacy. The law is good and holy and wise, but the damage was already done, or so it seemed. And so for the staff with the angel... I'm really sympathetic, Mr. Davidson. I'm also disappointed. Uh, you were leading me to believe that you always followed the rules. No again. I believe her. I decided to sleep on it. Good idea, Mr. Davidson. But it's an idea that probably got you into this mess today. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. You had a dream, Mr. Davidson. You're stretching my credulity a little too far, don't you think? Uh, so you were, as it were, man and wife in the fuller sense then? I need to be clear as to your relationship. Do you tick the right boxes? 
are you a married couple in the fullest sense or is this a marriage of convenience a sham we have to know do i really have to answer this who really needs to know who would be interested in what goes on in private between a carpenter and his wife i would have thought that was strictly need to know we run away to say our lives what more can i say well my office needs to know and you'd better cooperate if you don't want to be sent straight back no not until our first child was born when we were in bethlehem then we settled down there they needed a carpenter and we wouldn't really have been comfortable back in nazareth so when i tied things up there we thought we'd found a lovely boring life if the angels didn't keep getting in the way just the worker and the wife but how did you come to be in bethlehem subjects citizens slave owners taxpayers you are commanded to register at your family's local tax office branch for the privilege of being taxed by his divine highness emperor augustus you can make offerings of gratitude at his temple as well if you like well being descended from king david has to mean something bethlehem was the place to be as for mary she was reaching that beached whale sort of stage but she really wanted to be away from all the gossip when the baby arrived i had to be careful she got this idea she could make her own decisions that might not look good joseph mary just wait and we didn't even book a hat a davidson or to be welcome in david's town name davidson oh no not another one what are you looking for men's dormitory sharing bunks that's all i've got take it or leave it but my wife take it or leave it i'll take it in with you i'll look the other way oh no you'd be mr davidson now for a sir well there's a surprise come on mary beggars can't be choosers i'm not going in mary just wait sit we'll get to you later a manger for a cradle did the job well all got some rest until the shepherds turned up shepherds <laughs> you were at a low ebb not sure i need to know this you wanted to know after the birth which was wonderful and terrible and scary and marvelous after the birth we were all resting but keeping out of sight as much as we could keeping our heads down feeding the baby to keep him quiet suddenly there was this great waft on the air smell of wool and sheep mixing with the warm animal smells of the stable we thought they were drunk at first singing and bowing down they come down from the hillside they've been tipped off oh they had a story to tell we were the ones who believed them for a start how could they have known and as we wrapped our baby up in the fleece they brought with them in their own words they took us there it was vivid Up on the hills we were, ma'am, minding the sheep, minding our own business, keeping the wool from the door. <laughs> <laughs> Then there were lights, like lightning all around, like lightning, but not like lightning. We waited for the thunder, and even the sheep were still. Then out of the silence, voices. Glory to God! Glory to God! Glory to God! Glory to God! It wasn't cold, but we weren't half shivering. 
Do not be afraid. What? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid? Well, talk about shutting the gate after the sheep have scattered. We are not afraid, we are pissing ourselves. <laughs> 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 and somehow that worked. We weren't scared. We were eager. We were all ears. Okay. Hear this and share it. Good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in David's town. A rescuer, the Messiah, the Lord. You'll find him tonight in the town, a baby, all wrapped up and lying in a manger. Hey! Hey! If you thought just the, way, the one was scary, now there were loads of them. To God, glory, to God, glory in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory in the highest. To God be glory forever. To God be glory forever. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. They were lovely, but then off they went, singing and yelling about God and the angels and the rescuer. Luckily for us, no one put two and two together. We found work and a proper roof over our heads. And Jesus went from a babe in arms to a sturdy toddler. A good start for our family. As I can see, if he can sleep through all this, he's doing well. But really, we need to stick to the business we're here for. You were thriving, it seems. Why ever would you want to leave? This isn't your land. We have to be very careful, you know. And we don't want to upset the Romans either. They've got an office next door. Anything dodgy, I just have to call out. But if you're telling me the truth, you're not even tax dodgers. I never lie. But this is our story. Our life. We can't tell it any other way, sir. We can't separate one thing out of another. It all belongs together. We can't tell you what you say you need to know unless we tell you what we need to say. I was thinking you'd be getting more creative by now. Why are you here, and why should we let you in? There's only so much room for migrants in Egypt. We've got history, especially with Hebrews. We don't want to be swamped. Please, just me, my wife, my child. Ha! Huh. Child. And maybe some Roman soldier coming back from the pub one dark night. Nasty, that. But it happens all the time. You! Joseph, they just need to know we're harmless. You'll be glad you had that young lady with you. I don't like to think what sort of decision I'd reach if you punched my nose, Mr. Davidson. Uh, but yes, that was a test. And for what it's worth, you've passed it. But now, we can really get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, no more angels, no more storm in a teacup village scandals. Why did you run away? And what can you contribute to the empire of Egypt? We'll work hard. Will be no trouble. I'm waiting. Herod. Ah, Herod, Herod the horrid. 
Well, if I were allowed sympathy, you'd have it. Nasty piece of work. But of course, I didn't say that. Tramples all over, you small folk. And even killed his own son for fear he'd grab a bit of power. Sucking up the Romans. But I mustn't let feelings get in the way. I'm a professional. But kings of kings. And I can't imagine why he'd take a special interest in you. Nor could we. But then the scholars came. No angels involved, you'll be glad to hear. You're finally speaking straight. I'll put out the flags. Scholars from where? I hadn't heard of any schools of philosophy in that wasteland you call home. They weren't Greek, nor even Egyptian, from the East. That was all we could make out. Star scholars, very learned, very sure of themselves, and effortlessly rich. Sticking out like a sore thumb in Bethlehem. They'd just come from the palace in Jerusalem and they were none too impressed. Mary, go carefully. Herod's no friend of Egypt, at least not for now. Things change, of course. We might just let you in as a bargaining chip. You might have some value after all. Just carry on, but stick to the truth, mind. I'll just have to delete it if it doesn't add up. Mary, go carefully. Like the shepherds, they took us by surprise. One clear night, a new moon, so just the starlight. You have reached your destination on the right. I'm having dreams, dark dreams. Praise the light. You have the king, you must have the king. The palace was in the wrong place. It's here or nowhere. In my dreams, dark dreams. I told you, but would you listen? King in a palace, you said. Who are you? I couldn't see any difference. Learn to read your instruments. Jerusalem is five hundredths of a degree too far north. That's well within our margin of error. The palace was the wise choice. Went to the palace, all we found was some slimy tyrant. Yes, but at least there were scholars there. A scholar who sells out to power is no scholar at all. The wise know their limits. The truly wise keep an ear to the ground. About when we set out, shepherds came to the town, rowdy, blabbing about a newborn king. Things not understood, written off as nonsense. Who believes shepherds? And it all fits together if you think beyond the system. But the system got us here. The calculations got us to the palace and that's really clever. But was it wise to talk kingdoms with a man who kills his sons to stay in power? Well, they call us the clever men. The calculations brought us to Judah, but we still have to use them wisely. So who the hell are you? Thank you, good woman. The young king, is he here? What do you want? We have come far. We bring rich gifts to give homies and leave you in peace. We are the holy ones too. We make no demands, but we do say, please let us see him, then we can die well, depart in peace. You're not the first to say that. Now, Lord, you let your servant depart in peace. We're not expecting you, but I think you'll find what you're looking for. But be quiet, he's sleeping. Mirth for healing and laying to rest that we be cared for on our last journey. Incense, the odour of sanctity. Faith brings blessings, bigotry betrays. Gold can enrich but also inflame. 
Gold pays for peace, but causes war. That's all doing nicely. Please, that's all we have. Look on the bright side, it's all I want, at least for now. We might need topping up later on once we're underway. And then we'll see what currency you have left. I never lie, there is nothing more. Just give him what he wants, Joseph. They said there was a kid here, but the house looks empty. Tear it apart. Remember, you'll be well rewarded. And you're serving your country. Keep the peace. It's a matter of national security. Sorry, they say this child's a girl. Are you deaf, soldier? Take no chances. Village scum like this will lie through their teeth. Just deal with the tracks. Don't discriminate. Sorry, they say they're kids three now. Take your chances and send some men up the road. Attend to the stragglers. We don't want refugees wandering around giving us a bad name. Sire, this road is clear. They're all dead. All the we want. Well done. You're promoted. Ha! Ah, what we do for these people. What a racket, soldier. Shut them up, at least till we are done. Tell them to have some consideration for men with work to do. A voice is heard in Rama, weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. Got any gold left? Uh, did an angel show you how to invest it? Or have you got a secret pocket somewhere? Now, the funny thing is, we haven't heard of any such military operation by Herod. Nothing which says to me, you're real refugees. I don't believe you're really married, Mr. Davidson, and we respect marriage here. You said yourself, the child's not yours. I wasn't born yesterday. I know people get together just to hoodwink the likes of me, tugging at the old heartstrings with some sob story, appealing to human decency when you show none yourselves. And in Egypt, we're overflowing with Jews already. A bit short on angels, though, you may find. Go over there. I'll just sort out the paperwork for your deportation. You're better than that. My standard line is, don't be afraid. But fear isn't the point. In Egypt you have gods, sorcerers. Now you can have miracles too. You're going to perform one right now. Call them back. Let them in. Just be human, and God will thank you. Let this be so. Amen. Hey, thanks. Is that loud enough? That's fine. Yes, you're beginning to get a little bit loud.